Shah to David Warner. Gives himself room. Not sure about the single. They need to hurry through. Warner pushes his way through. A magic moment under the lights. The 23rd test century for David Warner. Two hundreds in a row. You know, statistically, he's probably better than most in Australia. So that puts him ahead of some others. But, you know, he's, he's not quite as good in other areas. So, um, look, he's a long way to go yet. Yeah, he doesn't look like he's going anywhere soon as far as test cricket's concerned, certainly the way he's playing now. So if he plays for another couple of years, he might end up with over 30 hundreds. If he does, then he will, will be remembered as an, as an all-time great, even if he doesn't make many of those overseas. Um, but, you know, people, some people have got different and sometimes strange thought patterns. And um, But if you're asking me, I mean, he's... I think of the current players, there's only Smith and Coley, I think, of current players around the world that have made more test hundreds than him. That's not a bad sort of class to be in. Oh, An inside go. edge from David go. Warner. Obviously in England as well, he just nicked everything, and whereas over here he's getting overthrows and getting out off no balls, it's just all turned around. Yeah, it's funny how you say it, because I mentioned that in commentary as well. It's, you know, even in Brisbane, out on a no ball, left one that hit the stump of the bowl didn't come off. And today gets his 50 brought up with a, a two and a four overthrows. But no, look, quite often when you when you work hard, those things tend to happen. And I know for a fact, talking to the coaches, that he's worked really hard the last couple of weeks. He hit more balls going into Brisbane than the coaches had ever seen him hit before. And he did the same thing down here. So even talking to him this morning, he said, mate, I'm, I'm creaming him. I'm, I'm ready to go. And that's what he's like. But he's, he's backed it up that's and true. played beautifully. So, you know, and we're, so, we're just seeing how good a player he is. I think people forget pretty quickly, you know, on the back of one bad series in England, obviously coming back from his ban, that... People forget that he had, you know, 20 odd test hundreds at that stage as an opening batsman, averaging, you know, 45 plus. So he's, um, you know, he's, it's fantastic to see him bounce back that way. And, uh, you know, I'd had him at the start of the summer, I think, as being the leading run scorer. So we'll see where, how we go. Labuschagne on 98. There it is. Two in two weeks for Marnus Labuschagne. Test match century number two. On Marnus, the ICC test rankings last week, he's moved up to number 14. How high do you think he can go? Is he a top five player in the world, in your opinion? Well, he keeps trending like he is. Um, same thing, hungry, not making mistakes, technically got his game pretty well sorted. Well, I think he has. He's changing things all the time, but, um, you know, superstitious type, but playing great cricket. Um, you know, you love having guys like that around your team. I think we've heard Tim Payne say some things about him today that... He's his favourite teammate, you know, and he works hard and he's got an infectious sort of attitude and, you know, asks questions, wants to learn. They're the sort of guys you want to have around. And, and to see someone like him come in and have success almost immediately is great. You know, I think he's, he's at nine scores out of his last 11 innings over uh, 48 or more. So um, some great signs there, averaging over 50 and still learning the game. So he'll keep getting better, keep improving. I'm sure against better bowling attacks at different times, he might have a, a few little issues, but... Um, he seems to me to be the sort of guy, if he does get found out in a certain area, he'll be able to learn quick enough to adjust and, and um, you know, get on top of something mid-series rather than waiting a whole series for it to, to unfold.